Hey YouTube, so CVC here once again with another video. This time we're going to do a quick, not necessarily unboxing, but got a couple of items from eBay. I got a few more items coming as well. So this will all be included in my end of the week pickup video. But I wanted to do this today. Today's Monday because these came today and they all pertain to this particular model Nintendo Wii. This is the one I found in the dumpster over a year ago. Um, it works just fine. It just needed replacement parts because the hinges on this panel are completely broken off. And so is this particular front panel here. This door I'll need for the new one, the replacement piece, because it didn't come with it. So I'll just have to take that off when I need to. But I ordered um, original Nintendo pieces. And altogether, they're like only like five dollars for the whole thing. Five dollars, I think, for the panels, and like in the, I think it's seven or eight for this one. With the free shipping, and they came from the same person, so they all came bundled in the same package. I tried doing this earlier to so haven't cut it up, but unfortunately, memory card was full, so I had to delete some stuff. So this is already open, but here we go. Here we got the front panel. And this is brand new. Like I said, I'll just use the door here from that one and put it on this one. And everything's there, including the connector for the lights like right there, LED light, along with the one that goes around the opening for the CDs. So we'll put that there. Also in here, like I said, you got the panel for the GameCube controller ports. And the GameCube memory card slot. So, pretty easy to get on and off. You just flip it up, grab one side, and then the other side just comes right out. So go ahead and put this one on. And this one. There you go. Nice and neat. Now, you're probably wondering what's in this package. Well, you definitely need to be able to take off the little tri-wing screws that are on this side. I guess someone else tried just ripping it off so the where these two pieces go would be right here. The covers here would come off and you just get to the screws. So what's in this bag is a tri-wing screwdriver. So let's open it this one. Open it this way. is a pro skit tool there you go tri wing driver shaft number zero tip size i got the precision precision style so it's a little bit more sturdier than the ones from china so open this up there we go There you can see the little tri-wing tip. It'll fit perfectly into the screws on the Nintendo Wii. So you just basically take these two screws out. Which I will do. It's kind of hard to do behind the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and 
take these out and quickly cut back to the uh, basically the finished product. All right, one thing I want to point out to those of you who might be doing this for the first time. This little tiny Phillips screwdriver, you'll need to unscrew it with a little mini Phillips. And then with a smaller precision flathead, like that, just get underneath here when it's kind of unscrewed and pop that up because the little flaps like this on the end here, this little long thing, as you can see it's got a screw hole in it. There's screws here and another one on the other side that you'll need to take off in order to get that out as well. So you got the screws on the side here and here and then also the ones on the ends here and on the bottom. One of those broke off and was still stuck in there so I had to take that screw out. So just to let you know. Hold on and I'll put it right back together. There's the other screw. As you can see it's underneath the little rubber feet held in by just some, uh, you know, some glue or epoxy. So just kind of just pinch it out and you can get to the screw right there. Alright, I went ahead and connected the plug for the LEDs into the slot there. So ready to just kind of fold it over. And get it all lined up and ready to screw back in. Screw it right back. As you can see, the new one, the new faceplate, does not come with the little stickers to cover the screw holes. So always make sure you use the ones that are already on your old faceplate. Got one here and one here. So I'll just peel those off and put them on there once I get the screws back on. Right, go ahead and screw in the last one down here. Just want to get it to where when it put the stickers on it sits flush. You don't want to screw it in too much because it is plastic. And I went ahead and took the door off the old one, put it right there. So let's see what it looks like with all the uh, doors on for now. All right, let's see. You got a brand new looking red Nintendo Wii. And all it cost me was about five bucks for the doors here, including shipping, and about eight bucks, including shipping for the brand new faceplate. And these are straight from Nintendo. Uh, it's a person, I think, in New York or somewhere. Or maybe in Miami, but these are official Nintendo. So, that is now one complete red Nintendo Wii. I'll just go ahead and select the stickers on, but you don't need to see that. Next time I'll, you'll see this, it should be working. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. On to the next. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. To make sure this works. So you got power. Yep. I, mean, I already knew the system worked, I just want to make sure the LED and everything works. So this tray lights light up and the status LED lights up. So we're good. I might just end up keeping the red one. And get rid of my modded one and just mod the red one. But we'll see. See ya.